Hey everyone, it's Alexis with Create Your Future and I am back today with a brand new video. I have a really short and sweet success story and then also some tips and tricks if you are manifesting for a specific person, if you're manifesting for love, if you're manifesting for commitment, and if you're manifesting for the relationship of your dreams and you often hear yourself say, I want or you often hear yourself think, I want. So please stay tuned. Um, before I get started, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And please hit the bell icon in the box below and you get notified every time that we post new videos. And so you guys, um, I found this success story to be really, really insightful and really inspiring for me. And also as an inspiration for all of my clients who recently, and then just in general, I have talked to who have a laundry list of, I want him or I want her to do this. I want commitment, Alexis. I want the hidden trick to manifest how to get him to commit to me, right? That's something that I hear a lot and all the time. So I thought that since this client moved through that issue and she first had that kind of same scenario going on in her reality and in her mind, and then she shifted through it, that it would really help everybody. So I'll just um, read the really quick success story and then enlighten everybody about what I guided her to do. All right, so dear Alexis, thank you so much for your feedback, your patience, and your consistent ability to hold my hand through the manifestation of me and my SP. I am happy to say that I got out of the state that I was in, began living in the wish fulfilled, living in the desire that I already wanted as if I already had it, and then he asked me to be his girlfriend. It's like it happened overnight. I couldn't have planned it to be any better. I'm so happy I got out of my own way, got out of the how, as you told me, focused on myself, focused on him, and really tuned out my outer reality in order to create that which I wanted from within myself. Thank you so much for your help. I can't wait to talk to you soon and give you updates on the relationship and everything else that's happening. XOXO. Okay, so you guys, really interesting is that, so again, I want to emphasize that if you're in a place of a desire, right, if you're in the thoughts, if you're in the energy, if you're in the state of I want, it means that you're also implying and you're sending out, you're projecting into your reality the message of I don't have it. So we know that the hidden trick to manifestation, to creating that which you want outside of you, whether it is an SP, it's money, it's... um a new car, it's sales at the grocery store, that it has to come from within, from being the person that's either one of two things, going to have it or already has it. The latter is the better, if you can be the person that already has it, okay? But um, there were a couple of things that this client was doing before I spoke to her and gave her some tricks. And, and I don't even like to say tips and tricks necessarily because I want to get and really encourage and motivate everybody to get out of this instant manifestation. I haven't had it yet. It's not happening at the right time frame. I'm on my mental diet. Why isn't it happening? Where is the commitment? What's going on? Okay. Um, to be honest, from my personal story, there has been nothing in my life that I have manifested. And I consider myself to be 95% successful and happy in most areas of my life because of conscious creation, not because of chance and not because of allowing things to happen, um, you know, from a uh, social perspective, right? That I've been consciously, diligently working on myself for a number of times over and over again in the same kind of process. I've never been in a place of this has to happen. Where is this happening? What's going on? Why isn't it happening? I have to have the commitment. Where is it? What do I do? Tell me how to do it. Give me the tips. Give me the tricks. And then, and then it'll happen. So if you're coming at your manifesting, or I would say, I guess if you're coming to coaching to anybody, anywhere with that kind of mentality, because that's coming to mind for some of me, for some of you, you really, 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 you guys got to slow yourself down. Slow yourself down because like I already said, if you're in the want of something, you're in the lack of something. Now, this particular client, she wasn't actually in that kind of frenzy, but I see it a lot. Um, I sense it a lot from some comments on videos that we have. And then I do experience it a lot from a lot of clients in their one-on-one -on -one sessions, right? So that's something that I've noticed. And I think it's also the beginning of the year 
Um, we're past the hallmark of Thanksgiving in America, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's Day. We're into the end of the first quarter of the year and we're approaching summer, which seems to be the energy of everybody wants everything to have happened yesterday, okay? Remember that if you're in anxiety about your manifestation, if you're in trepidation about when is it happening, how is it happening, what am I doing, I want this thing, if your mindset is that, then you're not in resonance with the version of you that has it. You're not in resonance with the version of you, the aspect of your own inner energy that is, let's say it's a relationship that is loving, that's adored, that is peaceful, that's in harmony. Because the version of you that's in the relationship, whether it be, um, in this case, the client had was looking for commitment in a relationship, um, whether you're manifesting for marriage or whatever you're doing, let's, let's, let's think that in it, right, you would be feeling harmony, hopefully, because you're manifesting it on purpose, right? So we're going for the gold. Um, you would be feeling feelings of harmony, peace, connectivity, um, connection with your specific person, connection with yourself connection with your reality. And it would be a beautiful feeling. It wouldn't be this anxious frenzy. So number one, if you are getting into anxiety and a frenzy about it, you really, really want to work on dropping that, letting that go, right? And focusing on tranquility, peace, and harmony within yourself. Now, going back to the success story, what this client did is she was already kind of cultivating that before coaching. She had figured out that her self-concept before had really been about a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, a lot of fear, and a lot of areas her, of her life. And then it just duplicated itself into love and relationships. So she had this kind of situation. She said, okay, Alexis, like it was, you know, and, and I always think like, I applaud everybody who signs up for coaching and who really wants to work on themselves because that's what you're doing when you're working with me or one of us on our team, okay? She had a list of things. I want commitment. I want him to call me all the time. I want him to want me. I want him to chase me. I want him to adore me. I want him to love me, right? And I mean, nothing wrong with having a want about something, but you guys, as I asked her, I said, so let's, let's slow down for a moment and be with yourself right now in the thoughts of, I want, I want, I want right? Because they, the other thing she was doing was like, I want, I want, I want to give me the answer to fix the problem, to make it happen. Well, the thing about love and relationships is that we don't really even want to have that mindset anyways, because if you want to receive the love and the adoration from your specific person, then it's not like a to-do list on, on a grocery store list, right? It's about being in resonance with the feelings the vibration that comes from the thought form of, I am loved, I am adored, I am in harmony, I am in peace with myself. So I said again, to go back to her, I said, okay, so let's go into these thoughts right now. I want, I want, I want. Let me say them to you. Let's close our eyes together and let's feel into this. I want him to commit to me. I want him to want me. I want him. And I said, okay. And I said, let's open our eyes. How does it feel? And she said, oh my gosh, I'm totally in the lack of it. And I said, yeah, I know. Because your mind is just processing and telling you that which you don't have, thinking that by focusing on that which you don't have, you're going to get what you want. And that is false. That's a logical way, so to speak, to go about things. And remember that manifestation comes from within. Manifestation is the building blocks of your inner self, the inner SP, right? And then the manifestation of the two of you outside of you. So I said, okay, so let's jump ahead. Let's go for you're already in the relationship. You're already with him. He's with you right now. He's with us right now. What would you be thinking? And I said, again, let's close your eyes. You know, if you're watching this, you could even do this, but please not while you're driving or something else. So I said, so let's go there together. Where are you now if we go there, right? And I'll tell you, I took her a couple of times because she was so anxious and frantic. And I said, okay, let's do it again, right? Let's do it again. Let's close our eyes. Let's go there together. You're in the relationship, you're with him. He is, you already have the commitment. You already have the love. You already have the adoration. You're already there. Block out everything else just for a moment. And she said, she opened her eyes. She said, oh my God, that feels so wonderful. 
And I said, yes, well, how about that? How about we duplicate that state from that state, do your intentions, do your affirmations, which are, I am so loved. I am so adored. We have the best relationship ever. He feels that he is the luckiest man to have me by his side because I make his life feel wonderful and complete and amazing. Because remember too here, we're not just throwing thoughts out to program somebody to make somebody do things. Um, if we go for a higher perspective, a higher feeling, um, a higher vibrational field, if you will, which is just a, a, a more altruistic, altruistic feeling of thought. Um, then we're trying to go for harmony, love, connectivity. You know, that's where you get like the partner in crime kind of thing, or your husband or wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend is also your best thing, best friend, you guys, and your best thing. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so any, in any event, I had her duplicate that state over and over again. And I said, okay, so let's just add that into what you're already doing. Because like so many of my new clients these days, She's watched a lot of YouTube videos. She might have be a little bit overeducated on conscious creation and manifesting. And she's doing a lot of things, visualizing this, that, the other. And I said, okay, let's just get you into the state of the feeling of already being in it and then do everything from there. But you got to duplicate it, right? Because we know that the more that you focus on what you desire, so let's take out the word want even from there. The more that you focus on your desire coming from the person that's either going to have it or that already has it. I like option B more that already has it because you're going for the end in that case, okay? Um, that you're, you're, you're easily bringing it to you by that intention, by that focus, and by putting a lot of focus on it. You're not going to change anything in your reality by thinking about it a couple of times, duplicating a state a couple of times, doing affirmations on a schedule, because all of that is more of the same doing, doing, doing something. We got to be in the place. We already have it. Duplicate that over and over again. Replicate it until it pushes out and happens in your 3D experience, because you guys, there is no other way. Every client that I have do this has the same success story. It's just amping up things in a bit of a sense, right? And it gets you out of the lack of it. It gets you out of the despair because frankly speaking too, she would have many nights of like sadness, loneliness, feeling alone. All of that seemed to kind of dissolve and diminish when she focused on already having it because she was also creating from within herself the feeling, the thought, the expectation, the assumption, and the belief that like everything in her was juicy. Everything in her was like so wonderful. Everything was working out for her. And then look what happened. It happened outside of her. And the other thing I want to add without having this be too long of a video um, was that the way that it happened, the way that he initiated the relationship was far better than she could have ever planned, right? So it's my idea when I'm manifesting for something to get out of the how, meaning that I am living in the end, I'm being the person that already has it. I'm not trying to orchestrate how it's going to happen because number one, I, Alexis, find that to be stressful. Number two, I have been shown over and over again through years of practicing manifesting my reality that whenever I try to get in charge of how it's going to happen, it, it, like, it blocks it from happening in like a more magical divine way. So, you know, um, so anyways, that's just my take on things. So she got out of it and then it happened like in the blink of an eye. It happened when she wasn't planning for it. It happened when she wasn't paying attention because she wasn't in that control place, right? She wasn't in the anxiety and checking and looking and what's going on. What's he saying? What's he doing? What is he saying? What is he doing? Right? Because this isn't about uh, monitoring and being a vigilante about your SP. This is living in the place that they're in love with you, you're in love with him, and you're in complete harmony, okay? All right, you guys, so I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Let me know, too, have you been experimenting with living in the end, and maybe has this cleared it up for you? Has this helped you realize that you've been in the want of something, and that's keeping you from manifesting it? I would love to hear. And we're still having our contest, you guys, so every time that you comment on one of our videos, how Law of Attraction... Law of Assumption or coaching has helped you change your life. You get put into a pool of people to win a free coaching session, which is awesome. And last thing is that I'm still, of course, offering my courses, um, How to Manifest Your SP Now, 
and how to become a master manifester, as well as all of my hypnosis workshops and recordings on our website. The put a love spell on your SP seems to be our bestseller. So I'm super excited about that one. Clients get a lot of um, results with that one too, because it connects them at the quantum level to their SP. And um, so those are all available on the website. And as well as by clicking in the link below. And if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, it's also um, in the link below too. So I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Go out and make today awesome and have a good day. Bye.